So today we're going to be looking at determining the equations of power functions from a graph. And it's actually a really easy thing to do because remember all power functions look like this if they go through the origin. Basically, if they go through 0, 0 at some point. Then all you need to work at is n is based on the shape of it and a is going to be solved for algebraically. So for the first one, n is equal to 1 because it is a linear graph. You can see that on the picture. So that means we are left with y is equal to ax. And in this particular case, we can see um, that it goes through the point 3, negative 2. So we can sub that in. We get negative 2 is equal to a times 3. Move that to the other side and we get a is equal to negative 2 on 3. And that's it. The equation is then negative 2 on 3x. Finished. You work out n visually, then you sub in a point. Same thing for the next one. The next thing is a quadratic. So y is equal to ax squared. We know to work out a, we just need to sub in a point. So in this case, let's sub in negative 2, negative 8. I could have chosen 2, negative 8. I can't choose the origin, but I can choose any other point. So y is equal, oh sorry, negative 8 is equal to a times negative 2 squared, making sure you're putting the negative in brackets. We get negative 8 is equal to negative 2 squared is 4a. Divide both sides by 4 and we get a is equal to negative 2. This equation is negative 2x squared. And there's our final answer. The next one is a cubic. Therefore, n is equal to 3. Now, we're not going to ask you to tell the difference between cubics and uh, quintics. So unless stated, assume if it's a cubic shape that it is going to be um, to the power of 3. We're only going to be looking up to the power of 4. Alrighty, so for this one, sub in a point. Once again, we've got any choice. I'm going to use the negative point just because it's smaller numbers. So you get negative 4 on the left-hand side. A bracket negative 1 to the power of 3. Negative 1 to the power of 3 is negative 1. So we get negative A negative on both sides and we get a is equal to 4 which makes sense right because this is an increasing function so a should be positive indeed and in fact if we go back to the previous one you can see that it's concave down as it should be because it's got a negative a and this one should also be a decreasing function why because it's got a negative coefficient negative a lucky last one once again we're looking for a negative a because it is a quartic, and you can see that because of its flat bottom here, that it is a quartic. So it's going to be y is equal to ax to the 4. Sub in a point. Once again, I'm going to sub in the negative point. Obviously, you can sub in any of the points that aren't the origin. But I'm doing the negative ones because I think it's good for us to see uh, some negatives being squared and such. Uh, negative 2 to the power of 4. Well, it's going to be positive because it's an even power, and 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So we get negative 4 on 16 is equal to a. That simplifies. a is equal to negative 1 over 4. So y is equal to negative a quarter x to the 4. And that is the equation. And once again, negative a. Why? Because it's concave down. See you in the next one. Goodbye.